Welcome back to It Takes Two. So yeah, let's continue exploring and seeing if we can I get, find our way out of here. Explosions! Uh, I love how um, out. I love how um, our uh, raw title is just you know okay, I'm not counting the raw and the part number. It's just two, and I'm like, two what? Two people, because you play the game it with two people. Two, it says uh, two, two raw. Two two uh, two egos. Well, I, I always name my raws with just a, a very easy identifiable word like this. So two, of course, is, oh, I mean, so whatever, it works for I mean, me. I mean, I mean, two egos is accurate, so, uh, yeah. So there you go. These squirrels are actually doing experiments on their nuts acorns. and I get, acorns. I, I, I get the idea Joseph Ferris might be a fan of the Ice Age movies. <laughs> No, that's a, well, that's the thing, too. You can tell a lot of animated films you were used as inspiration for this thing. Especially I, Waco. I, I, I know, and Joseph Ferris seems to be the guy who would love to be referential in this kind of way. Well, remember, too, there's an entire... In the, in the, shall, 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 shall we remember about the climax of Our Way Out, where we have the most blatant as all fuck uh, homage, yeah, homage right, to, to, to Scarface? Scar so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, uh, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, I guess. Um, which Scarface was it again? 1983. The 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 Al Pacino one, yeah. The, the one people care about. <laughs> the, I mean, again, the original is good, but it's I just mean, that the remake. Uh, it's just the remake made it obsolete. Past, I'm surprised uh, Hollywood is not trying to reboot even that again. Uh, actually, yeah, they, but... they are. Oh my! They God. are. Well, well, that's just a thing. Well, that's a thing that the original is good too. It's just that the remake is so much better. It basically made the original obsolete. Again, that's again, that, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not holding too much against the newer remake because you can't. You can't because if you're holding if you're holding the newer film, you know, in a negative way just because it's a remake. I, I mean, even if it's good, you should be hold. You should be doing that to the '83 film as well. Mm hmm. So basically, I didn't, I didn't find out that it was a remake until like recently. So basically, for here, I, ha I have to use the the, the honey to make exactly. the platform is heavier, so that uh, Vanessa can go through. That's actually a neat way to use the puzzle. Instead of actually using the staff to well, move physically the, the platform, you have to actually wait to them. Well, that's the thing too. This game is full of this. This is literally an entire game yeah, full yeah, of this I was, stuff. I was, I was mentioning this in the previous parts again, compared to a way out, which in itself was already. In creativity what he was doing here the freedom of creativity is like it's put fully on display it's clear it's clear to me that it was a case of the devs had an idea you know brainstorm fried friendship and, and they actually implemented it some kind of way oh shit oh no and, 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 and yeah as you can see whenever you're playing uh, both of you get each trophy when you play Hmm. Yeah, it happened the same. I actually did play, ended up playing a way out with a friend, and yeah, with that. Happened. Yes! Oh, you get to torture the partner. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> You're supposed to avoid getting a divorce. Okay. It kind of reminds me a bit of stuff like Sphinx and the Curse of Mommy, where you can do whatever the fuck you want to the mommy, and it's an actual component to solve the puzzles. <laughs> You killed me, you bastard! Also, but it's, right. into an acorn, eh? but it's okay, man. You respawn uh, automatically, and you have, we have infinite lives anyway. Oh, that's God, kind that's of even worse. <laughs> that's, that's not the yeah. point. You you get, you're torturing your poor wife. Over Just and because over she can again. come back to life, like bloody hell! It's okay, Dwebs. It, it's that okay. Dwebs. Like a real marriage, now doesn't it? It's okay. It's okay, Dwebs. She was laughing as well. So, I mean, imagine Aww, this. Imagine. I mean, imagine, imagine this in the divorce, uh, in the divorce court hearings. I'm divorcing my husband because he killed me five times. <laughs> yeah, and the tank and electrocuted yeah. me. And then the husband proceeds to win the court case because nobody believes that. To be fair, Joba, isn't that the whole point of American court system? If, if there is on a precedent, it does create one. Not necessarily, Tia. Like, precedent has to also obey the laws of common sense. And common sense dictates that, you know, people don't turn into dolls because their daughter didn't want them to divorce. That's why I, that's why I always recommend this game to anyone that has a life partner, because uh, it, it, it's such great bonding time playing this uh, with, with that special someone. Maybe this game can prevent divorce as well. Well, actually, Same Java. Well, 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 actually, Java. One of the um, one of the re earlier reviews made by a YouTuber, not a, not a natural Metacritic critic, like a natural YouTuber. Uh, yeah. She 
like uh, her thumbnail uh, on the review even said, if I if I had, if I had played this, if this game had came out before, I wouldn't have gotten a divorce. She said. <laughs> So uh, there, there's that, um, but um, this game is a warning. If it's you're because divorced, you're, it's because you're of, with, oh. it's, it really is one of those cases where you just have to play it with that person because like there's it's so, the the game is so much fun and requires so much Ooh. cooperation from from both of you that it's such a really good uh, um uh, it's such a really good um uh. Ex Two what person experience to go around with. You have to, you have to detonate the sap in that specific spot in order to open each of the levers. I think. Yes, we have to ex it's make weird. them explode all at the okay, same time. Okay, 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 okay. It did it again. How did it sink through solid matter like that? It's a bug. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, I don't. Uh, there you go. See. Uh, the, the, f uh, sometimes the thing goes through. Uh, not all times, but sometimes it does. I, I, I'm guessing maybe it goes through the cracks or something, but... Okay, so basically, here's the idea. You have to shoot a shit ton of... Ah, Alright, let's try that again. Uh, exactly, yeah. you, you have to shit, shoot a shit ton of sap to make sure it creates a chain so that... It, because remember, if uh, if a piece of sap explodes right next to another one, the other one explodes by association. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you create a little chain of uh, sap here, you'll be able to get every single, every single one of them to explode. It's like making a fuse line. So basically, you don't have to be as precise as I am being right now. It's just that you know I'm making. I'm. I'm just to be sure. I'm just making sure right now. All right. Go ahead, Vanessa. Light it up, huh? There it's you a go. Thing of beauty. See. No, it's because uh, it, no, it, no it's, like, it's like I was saying. Like for example, like it was actually actually I was hold on hold on, hold on. let me let me actually I, I I immediately turned to Vanessa and I was all like okay hold on, hold on let me actually just create a full chain just to make sure this works and there you go. Um, so it's all again. It's all about uh, again. You, you genuinely have to talk to your partner in order to get through these things because it requires a lot of precise cooperation and timing for, from both of you in the synchronized. You wonder what the on actions. It, it must suck to play this on online and not have voice chat going. Well, there is voice chat. The game does have voice chat um, support. Well, uh, my you can point use it. is like, well, say somebody doesn't have the tech for the well, voice chat, or just doesn't know how to use. Well, it. At that point, there's just, only you know, under, there's only so it's, many it's people who can please. Similar, okay, while it wasn't required, as we have seen, it's kind of bit dissimilar to the experience of like in Journey. You know, the the idea that you have no major way to communicate with a, without an online partner that you find. You know, and it's just a matter of understanding. The, the the body language or the, the, the actions that the player performs. True. That is true. As for that, well Java can please everybody. So it's just it just boils down to oh. the movie the the game cannot possibly uh, work for every single person, I guess. So Well Tio does have a point though that oh, what shit, I guess the wasps. generating ways. Yeah. Remember guys, I wait, wait, oh wait, so was it the wasps who works? Experimenting on the nuts? No, the, the squirrels. The, 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 the wasps are the enemies. Yeah, the wasps are the enemies that they, the squirrels asked us to take down. Oh, no, 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 guys, 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 I get that. But aren't we on wasp territory? No. Or is it no. about of the wasp occupying the, the, it's kind of, it, Think of it, Jova. Ruined kingdom that, uh, that uh, part of it has been invaded and now the, they are occupying part of it. Okay. I mean, wasps are and assholes, so and kill them all. Oh god, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's do, the like, do what Optimus Prime did to the Decepticons in Transformers 3. We will kill them all. God, that movie is so terrible. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, Pedro? Alright, so what now? Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it's full of it. There you go. Whoa. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we uh, just need to find a way up there. Okay. Oh. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Any minute now. I actually no, forgot. Uh, I actually forgot again, what my. Again, Joe, but this is clearly one moment where the where, you know Pedro and Vanessa were just talking and deciding what to do. Yeah. I can. I can Probably. definitely feel it. The, the way the characters are moving. Oh, no. <laughs> did it a little too early. That's okay. But we can just try it again. All right. Let's actually do this. Pro let's actually do this properly now. But yeah, gotta, gotta love how the wasps even have like tiny spears. Uh, the this weapon is so adorable. Oh, hold on. And go ahead. Gotta kill them though. And yes. there we go. All right. Now go ahead, Vanessa. And there we go. See. 
Collaboration, as Dr. Akim says. Hooray. See? The game practices what it preaches. Alright. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we need to get Vanessa in here. Let's see, what can we do? Alright. Oh, okay. Maybe we can. There we go. Yeah, the idea with this is. Hmm. Yeah, again, this, yeah, it's pretty much clear. Yeah, this is the case of, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the edge is painted yellow to give you a clue. Which is, yeah. I actually don't know who started the trend, but it has become kind of like seeing the norm that, you know, um, ideal places where you should go are either have a ledge painted either in yellow or white. It's to eliminate pixel hunting. Uh, yeah, no, that, that I understand, but I'm just really curious about who's the one who started it. Uh, doing mm, it. Uh, I don't know. All maybe right. Assassin's Creed? There you go, um, see? Haha. I wonder. Alright. Hmm. There's a wheel there. Hmm. Now, if only we could find a way to spin it. No, nah, doesn't seem like it. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you can burn the cord. Yeah, with an explosion now. Mm. So what then? Maybe something to do with that latch. The sap. The, the, the sap just bounces right off it. So. Aha! There's a target there, though. There you go. There you go. The the, the game actually does allow you to shoot through bars. So, works just fine. More jump. All right, what next? Ooh, a football. What's it in here? And yes, uh, they say football because uh, Joseph is European, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still wrong, but still, uh, well, I'll allow it. <laughs> wow. That soccer ball is indestructible. Also, yeah, gotta, love, I know, right? gotta love how the squirrels uh, are basically. F okay, I think I noticed that. Ooh, minigame. In the previous oh, part. burger. Tug of no, war. it looks like. Uh, oh. Yeah, it looks like a tambourine. So, yeah, this is uh, the classic tug of war. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you have to get to the other side. <laughs> Fancy. Well, all right, so let's see who gets pulled into a hole oh, first. Oh, and we all know we all know how Pedro loves mashing QT. Well, no, no, but don't you see? But don't you see, Shua, this is just friendly competition. There's nothing wrong with that. Is it like what? Is it like that? Um, that Mario Party mini game where there's the loser falling into the pit? Yes. Oh, oh great! Oh wow! Just, <laughs> and just gotta mash it harder. I am. Yeah, got, uh, I, I am. Uh, I emerge uh, victorious, Tail. I. <laughs> question, Pedro. Yes. Are you ever gonna let her win one of these? Well, actually, she has won some of these. Actually. Yeah, I think she did. She uh, has done a couple. It's it's been, it's been a while. Also, she'd probably be mad if he let her win. Yeah. No, uh, well, actually, she, well, actually, she, um, Vanessa tends to get angrier when she just loses, regardless of whether or not it was a fair loss or, f or unfair loss. Notice really? my directing. She, uh, <laughs> she, uh, so let her win. Uh, uh, Dwebs, cue the um, the walk the mountain theme from um, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Yeah, too late. Um, uh, you were saying, Pedro? <laughs> uh, no, it's just um, well, so, well, sometimes, well, well, sometimes it's just better. It, it depends on her mood. Sometimes it, it's just best to let her win because uh, it depends on her mood. Ah, for your sake, I yeah, for for my sake, yes. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, oh, she keeps yeah, a mind that, that cards. The squirrels. Uh, Again, they built this entire kingdom in the fucking tree. <laughs> I got the feeling that these squirrels may have just a little bit too much. Again, I was about to hands. mention, considering how the fact that they steal the technology from the humans uh, and uh, they build this entire thing uh, and they seem to be doing weird techno magic shit, uh, this is giving a lot of Secret of Neem vibes. <laughs> Not to mention Shiroi, uh, not to mention Shiroi, letting her win always get, uh, comes with its perks, as you might uh, wonder, so. Um, Ouch. Uh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 
There you go. Again, this is exactly why I love this game. The gameplay never lets up. Like it's just constant creativity and constant fun. Yeah. Again, the the imagination is just there on full on display. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually do get a minecart sequence in this game. Well, let's see. Maybe yes, maybe not. Hmm. To be fair, Joe, by things where the characters are just fine grinding on rails, I'm not sure if they need the one. Well, dep there depends, too. Depends. There could be a circumstance where they need, you know, the card for protection. Alright, if I remember correctly, we're gonna get a boss battle right now. Oh. Huh. Maybe I mean, the stock cycle maybe could, could be happen. with you, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, how do we solve this puzzle? Um, okay, there you go. Hmm, doesn't fall though. Hmm. Yeah, my, my first my first idea was okay. If I put it on one of the top one, okay. Now, oh, so yeah, there you go. you're supposed ah, to spin it. The, there, so, go. there you go. You're supposed to spin it on the other side. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's following the anti-clockwise of the of the arrows. There you go. Oh shit! Oh, that, there, there, there you go. So yeah, the, again, the strategy is of course uh, fill them full of samples so that Vanessa can make them blow up. There you go. Mm -hmm. Those wasps or bees? I can't quite tell. Wasps. Uh, wasps. They, yeah, they also mention. You can also notice by the fact they do not have uh, you know um, hairs on their on their abdomen. They're just very you know smooth and sad. Mm-hmm. It's okay. There we go. Again, the the, the the entire thing gives me a lot of Conker's Bad Fur Day vibes. Mm -hmm. A bit mm -hmm. obviously less raunchy, but you know, with still the spirit. Mm -hmm. This game only has like a uh, fairly mild swearing. It's not like uh, the a way out where a way out was full. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy 18. Cause oh, a, shit. Because <laughs> cause a, cause a way out, if I remember correctly, was Peggy 18, whereas this is actually Peggy oh. 16, if I remember oh, correctly. It is the weapon from Pagandan from Final Fantasy XII. What the fuck? Exactly, too. So, yeah, this, this shield wasp has a shield, meaning you can only throw separate from the behind, so you have to be a bit more clever about it. I mean, it's uncannily very similar as a weapon. Literally, like a bus, a circle of bustles on top of a staff that's using that kind of way. Interesting. Ma maybe Joseph's a fan. Who knows? Um, Someone's, quite the the fast. <laughs> Someone's quite the rising shield hero. I see. Yes. Uh, no, Joe, because the shield hero only uses an actual shield. All right, all right. Is that show good or is it just okay? I heard it's. I heard it's. I heard it's fine. W which, yeah, nothing, which, nothing particularly special, but, here, but it's oh. solid on its own, basically. Okay. Have, have you seen that one, Pedro? I don't think I have, no. Well, I did ask, didn't I? So, probably not. <laughs> what about <laughs> goblins? <laughs> I prefer just reading the novel for the time being, but I actually kind of have a soft spot for it. <laughs> Alright. The basic idea, is, one good strategy you can use is uh, have uh, have May distra uh, 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 distracted and attracted, while Cody takes advantage of uh, that to shoot at her back. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there is a credit. Uh, let me see. There we go. Ooh, that'll take it hurt. Well, with self defense. The wasp protect us Besides first. The, again, they're the invade. They're just wasps. Uh, anyway. Again, 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 again. You know, what are even the point of wasps? They're bees, but they don't even contribute to society. And they're yeah, and that's disturbing. why we should kill them all. That's, uh, that's kill them all, uh, I it's say. Compl it's complicated, Jova, but I'll, I'll mention after the cutscene. <laughs> In the meantime. Oh. Oh. Of course, there's the queen. Well, what yeah. What is happening? Well, she right the wasp. So I've been asking that since the previous part. <laughs> but well, well, she well she well, obviously the wasps will have a queen. That's how wasp societies work. Let's see. The wasp I mean, queen is voiced by Victoria Willing. I mean, we're inside. Oh. We're, we're inside a wasp hive, she right? What did you expect? She was in a couple of his you. Oh, you. <laughs> No, we're not. Yeah. 
Ch 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 <laughs> We're in a wasp hive. <laughs> you know, honestly, I could tell this to Tommy was so voice in this book. I mean, Joseph Ferris does look a bit like Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> Maybe they're related. No. I no. seriously doubt that. Tommy was always an alien drill, I remember that. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. So there you go. That that's oh, uh jo that that's Joseph's yeah, little homage to the body. Yeah, pretty much. That's Joseph's little homage to the room, I guess. But let's see, Victoria Wheeling, she was in a couple of days of casualty. Oof. She was. Uh, I can't recognize most of the stuff that it's here, but she was an additional perform Muppet performer in both Muppets Treasure Island and Muppet Christmas Carol. Jesus That's Christ! Amazing. I just realized these are Christmas lights all over the place. Yep. Yep. It's, mm -hmm. it's like someone decided to purchase the festive ah, uh, caterpillars. Actually, no, they're the larvae. They're even yeah, larvae. Because yeah. these people, if you haven't, if if you ever seen a documentary about stuff like wasps and uh, and bees, larvae stats, larvae status for for these creatures is nasty because these things will eat everything they can, including other larvae. So yeah, like yeah. May, so yeah, like May said, uh, make sure to destroy the nests first because uh, they will just keep respawning uh, Not, larvae. Uh, what was the line? What was that line from episode two? Not just the man. But even the woman and children, they all screamed. Well, well, the wasps are attacking us, so it's so, not really the same situation here. I'm, 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 yes, Dio, I'm sorry, I prefer the Anakin version of him saying he loves his homies. Wait, is, it, is that from Clone Wars? <laughs> no, someone just, it, it's a meme. Oh. Also, um, also, true, again, the, the point is that the wasps are the one invading the kingdom of the squirrels, or so. Yeah, that one more reason to actually take them out. All so. right, let's continue. All right, some more grappling hooks. Let's go. I seriously doubt this is the kind of game that will have to pose your existential questioning about killing stuff like wasps. So. No, not really. The, sometimes they will have some dark humor about that too, but not so much Yoko Taro stuff. Mm -hmm. I think when most they see wasps, they think matter. kill it anyway, so... Yeah, like, you know, I mean, look, at least with bees, bees can be nice if you catch them on a good day, and bees at least provide good honey. Wasps, like I said, don't even contribute to society. They're just jerks. <laughs> So yeah, and then there yeah, are well, hornets. Yeah, we'll yeah. Talk actually, about that's them. that's a good oh, point to mention, Jova. Um, what I was mentioning before, simply put, the reason why what about yellow like jackets? Jova, simply put, because of evolution. Because simply put, they saw the fact that the bees were this kind of respected, you know, and at the same time intimidating. Mortar wasp. Mortar wasp. Fuck? Yes. Explosives. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right, Tio. It's time for a technological tail, tail, like your tail, 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 like you yourself said. Somebody in the team pitched the idea for a moral wasp boss battle, and Joseph was a like <laughs> genius. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, well, I, I, not to mention the section constantly ups the ante in, in making us questioning what's going on. That's how every level um, in this game is, too. It introduces the gimmick of the level, and then just keeps ramping the ante up, up, and up, and up, and up until the final boss, and then we start a new level with a new a gimmick to rinse repeat man isn't it crazy how we just started off in a tool shed yeah well even so yeah you know what this kind of reminds me a bit um the video game binary domain i know not a lot of people the play platinum this game no no the, the one that one is vanquish uh, that binary domain was done by the the team of the yakuza team uh so it was actually done for the ps3 as like a thing in between and it's kind of like of a shooter with, you know, a tactical shooter where you, similar to Mass Effect, you have a morality system with your comrades and you can improve it somehow. God damn but it, thing, by like one millimeter of health or something. But the thing about it is that a bit similar to this game, when it comes to makeup, when it comes to the main game, it's relatively simple in the way it's structure, but when it comes to actually make a set piece or and or a boss fight, particularly the boss fight, the game goes absolutely insane and it catches you off guard with that. Like, Wait, mm -hmm. what's going on now? In the meantime, now in the meantime, now you've got me curious, Jova, so what's your stance on yellow jackets? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really like that form of Hank Pym, honestly. 
Yeah, that was kind of an iffy time in his life. Uh, <laughs> also, Shira Seriously. mentioned... Uh, sorry, go on. Sorry. Seriously speaking, though, Yellow Jackets, hmm, they're... They're kind of like the same of Wasps, Jova, so... Oh. oh, look at that. Really? That's pretty cute. So were the squirrels running away it's a Polaroid. So there you go. Now we can Construct take some... your diorama. It's like a Godzilla on the PS4. Basically, you can take pictures uh, involving these specific things, and you can even save them on your uh, console or PC uh, because it's get, it, it gets saved as a as a, a JPEG file. That's pretty cute. Also, Strike Shira, pose. Yep. Shira was mentioning um, hornets, similar to bumblebees. I agree with what she said, especially because they're much more intimidating. But they do function kind of like the same as bees, in a, in, in a sense that they also do help with the pollination system. And normally do not attack uh, unless but pe they can frighten people a lot. So while I get where, she, where she's coming from, they are still a bit more useful than wasps. Sorry. Yeah. So, either way, <laughs> I think we can agree. Make Fuck sure we can. I guess we can agree, though, that Yellow Jackets make for a weak antagonist in an MCU movie. So there you go. We can even have uh, the uh, have it have the the machine even has a timer that allows the, the the other player taking the photo to go straight there and and have both of them in the picture. So that's nice. There you go. Uh, seriously speaking, though, Yellow Jacket was such a waste. <laughs> because he wasn't really much of a character. We don't really get him. And we didn't even get to see what Hydra even did with what they stole anyway. Ah, uh, wait, they didn't explain that through Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something like that? Well, we have to yeah. see that uh, how that uh, has to be kept or it's just an AU at this point. In the meantime, we but have again, a lot of family a, pictures on the wall. Time. Whoa. Taking a cue from inside out, we have a lot of family pictures uh, on the oh, wall. That's neat. Hmm. What now? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, it's a it's a, a swarm. It's a small swarm now. Oh, yes. Fuck. So basically, we have to basically it, it kind of works like the the swarm the the, the the swarm in, uh, in Gears of War Five. In Gears yeah. in, in Gears War Five, basically. Not the same bug, but um, it's kind of funny that uh, me and Alice watched Starship Troopers earlier. Oh, you did? Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you like it? Yes, actually, a lot. <laughs> well, that, that, that's actually good news because originally me and the me and the other boys did a commentary it a long time ago. So we were, but the, the audio got lost. So we were in the idea we're doing it. But if you actually enjoyed it, I'm definitely sticking it for the five member run. Sure. Ah, Starship Troopers. Uh, most... Don't read the book. Uh, just, my, my suggestion, don't read the book. Just stick to the movie and enjoy it. Uh, it because... was a weird movie, but a good well, I mean, movie. I, I guess uh, I guess Paul Verhoeven needed something after Showgirls. Let me put it this way, Dad, in case you don't know. Um, it has a very young Neil Patrick Harris, uh, but at some point gets dressed up kind of like a Nazi officer. It makes sense in context. <laughs> He's still the good guy. Uh, where can like, I watch this? Was he there? Because I was like, is that who I think it is? Yeah, that's him. That's kind of the thing about Starship Troopers. It's basically a satire against an authoritarian kind of government that takes on a race of aliens that is essentially defending he was, themselves. Uh, he was and they're painted the as this evil menace from it. It was 24 oh, at the time, Siri. Oh, shit! <laughs> I, I have to reiterate it again. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Simple. The wasps are attacking us too. <laughs> Yo, that, that was yeah, yeah, I watched that on the watching that movie. Movie. Great <laughs> fucking <laughs> Wow, they are determined to destroy us! Cheaters! You have to make it explode. There you go. You know what? You got in our way, so yeah, at that point you have only yourselves to blame. <laughs> Especially with how flammable you guys are. There we go. Now can you leave us alone? Please. Oh, yeah, to be yeah, fair, Jova, yeah. we are the ones that are exterminating them. I guess, they, I guess at the very least they can try defending oh, God, in some kind of way. Oh god, hammers! 
This also uh, this Netflix only has traitors of Mars. The dialogue that, that happens in between these sections also show how they're actually starting to, at the very least, enjoy themselves uh, in working together. So again, so the dialogue is also working towards the, the the story progression as well during these bits. That's good. Anyway, all right. Normally, I would just uh, bust out the Super Mario uh, uh, 64 Slide sliding theme, theme but. This, uh, this is or a bit too the dangerous. One of the endless high quality rips uh, from Siva Gardner. <laughs> no. yes. Apparently, apparently the com that community loves so much the slider theme. Someone bring know, out the uh, right? ice cap from SA1. Be cool, be mm, wild, There's be no ice right. here though, Shirai. Uh, it's, right. it's the version of Big the Cat. Epic no. slow-mo! <laughs> can, can, can we not talk about Big the Cat? Well, the party's almost over anyway. There we go. Oh, I didn't know you hated Big that much, Dudge. No, because we fi we oh, just cool. finished uploading okay. that part of SA1. It's a lake of um, hopefully trust Mark. It's sewage, isn't it? In the middle of a tree, Drova? That's a bit weird. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> Tio, the, wasp the wasps have to dump their crap somewhere. So there we go. We're going to use this as a boat of sorts. Tower, they can just swim. Actually, Cody just said that they cannot for the Indies. I think it's because their bodies aren't equipped for swimming. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> 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 there we go. Well, she is an engineer, so obviously she would think of this. That's pretty neat. Too. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, tune in next time, everybody, where we actually finish uh, this uh, part of this particular stage, and we also get through one of the most uh, mind-blowing moments of the game. I will argue. So, so we just pass through them. Oh no! Trust me! Tr oh, no! Trust me, Terry. Yeah. Trust me, Terry. You you cannot even guess what what's gonna happen when it comes to the final boss of the stage. Oh, I'm trusting you. All right. All right. See ya. See ya.